Alright, uh, we got a little racer here and he's uh, he's finishing up the wire and tucking in everything. Tucking it in. Putting the relays in putting and putting it uh, to sleep. Was that a fan relay and a horn relay? Yeah, a fan relay. So he's got pretty much all that done. I got Mike down here. Under the car, he's rerouting. They had the what was that a heater solenoid mic up here? Yeah, it's a vacuum solenoid valve for the heater valve. Yeah, I don't know if you hear Mike, it was a vacuum solenoid for the heater valve. And they had it mounted up inside the cab here. And uh, it's, it's stuff we don't need there. All you need is an on off switch for the, the heater. So he's going to reroute that and uh, run it under the car. So, so we're making good progress on, on the, the dash. Boy, that's really come a long way. I think we might have to reinforce the steering column too because. Uh, they swear you got that jewelry rigged up there. See if you can shake that right, Razor? Yes. Yeah, that's our steering column, so uh, we're going to have to do something with that. Alright, let's just continue on with that. we got to get this thing ready for spring. Alright, Tubes. we got Mike over there. He's working on uh, the brake cylinder there and the solenoid. And little Racer's on the other side. He's working on the, the rest of the wiring. He's underneath there. I don't know if you can see his little feet. But anyway, me and a uh, little, little dirt bike here. Say hey, kid. Hey. There we go. This is what we're going to do with the, the steering column. Like I said before, all these joints are, are like brand new. So we're going to keep them. But what's wrong is uh, this end is stripped out, the spline. And this double D is, is all uh, messed up and stuff. So... What we're going to do is I, <clears throat> I bought a piece of double D shaft. We're just going to cut that off and weld a new piece on there. And then with this spline here, I bought another spline piece. And we're going to we're going to cut that off and weld that to that. If I was going to replace this whole thing, it would have cost me a couple hundred dollars with these U joints and shaft and stuff. So this way, I'm, I'm getting out of it cheap for. Uh, about twenty dollars, twenty-five hours. Yeah. All right, let's start cutting it off. And oh yeah, excuse me, buddy. With this, uh, let me get the D shaft. All right, this D shaft fits inside there. Nice tight fit. And they overboard this size. That should only be five sixteenths, maybe quarter inch or five sixteenths. Um, we're gonna have to uh, clad weld that or overlay weld, whatever you want to call it. And then we'll uh, re-drill it. All right, we'll show you that when we're doing it. All right, we got the the shaft here. I got my little buddy holding it, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna hit that in with a hammer, and then he's gonna gonna weld that up so that D shaft should be okay. And then over here, we got the steering wheel. We're gonna clad weld that. Show him what you're gonna do, racer. There, you're gonna put a piece uh, of copper. Gonna put a piece of copper in there to keep the the weld from, uh, from going here, through there. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if they call it clad welding or overlay welding or something. I'm sure uh, someone, someone one of one us. of our tubers will tell us. Somebody will tell us. Somebody will somebody will correct us. We're gonna fill that in and then uh, drill the same the right size hole. All right. Then what else? Let me see the other end there. Let me see the other end of the shaft there. Sure. We got that. We got that. Put that where that belongs. We're gonna. Uh, Gonna weld that on, and we should be good. We should have a shaft. And then we can put our steering box in and everything. All righty, let's get back to work. All right, let's see what we're gonna do. Got it nice and hot. That's good. He'll probably give it a double pass, just so we have uh, a little bit of strength there. Alright. Alright, we got the one side done. I'm going to try the other side now. Hey, buddy. Let's try it. Uh-oh. Somebody didn't ground it. Didn't connect our ground. A rookie, rookie mistake. Rookie mistake. Now we got to cut the... Let's get some cutters. Ah, uh, he's going to go. He ain't going to do that.
There we go. Good penetration, buddy. All right, we're gonna have to drill that out if we put the D D shaft in there. All right, I cut the, the D shaft so it fits into the into the old grooves there. See, we have a little bit of space on the sides there. That way we can uh, get down into it. And I got it sticking out the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. Just sticking out the bottom so we can weld that. All right, go ahead, buddy. All right, buddy. Watch your eyes. Watch your eyes, tubes. All right, he turned it around the other way there. You're going to see if you can pull it and straighten it back up a little bit. Ready, tube? Go ahead. Yeah. All right, let's see how straight it is. All right, looks like you got a, a pass all the way around there. Yep. What are you going to do? You going to get another pass now? Yeah, we'll do another pass there. You got to make sure you stay safe. There you go. Always looking after the road, King. Thanks, right, buddy. Go ahead, buddy. Uh, here we go, buddy. Go ahead. It's a real the system. We got a little All right, I'm going to let him finish uh, welding this. Doing a good job there, buddy. Alright, I'm gonna let him finish that up. Alright, we got the spline on there. He's got that tacked in place. Now he's gonna uh, give it a full weld all the way around. Double weld, too. You want Road King to be safe, right? That's right. Alright. Alright. Go ahead, buddy. I'm gonna have to get in your way for a minute. Oh, man. Ready? Go ahead, buddy. Mm. Looking good, buddy. All right, you guys, got the steering box in, and the steering shaft, and the steering column. Is, is it down all the way now, Mike? Yeah. We can come up. We got room in here to move. Hmm. This is just a test fit. Now we got to take it out and uh, drill the hole we want. All right. So he could. All right. Everybody went home. This is actually the, the next day. And I just finished drilling a hole to accept that bolt there. This came out real good. I'm uh, real pleased with this. It's, there's no play at all. So uh, I got to paint it now because it's all scratched up and uh, looks like whoever painted it never uh, never primed it anyway. But uh, yeah, it lined up good and uh, everything works well. So I'm going to wire wheel this, get rid of all the paint and paint it up because it does show. All right, let me do that. All right, that actually came out pretty good. Took all the paint off, and there's actually a part number here. Down there, I think it's uh, T88L25 or something. Maybe you guys can see it better than me. But uh, that's interesting. Because I've I've never seen a, a drive shaft like that before. But uh, somebody made that. Yeah, like I said, it came out pretty good, you know. When the little uh, dirt bike was welding this, I told myself I want strength, I don't want beauty. So we uh, put two passes on there and two passes on there, and uh, I don't think that's ever going to come off. All right, I'm going to go outside and prime this up. All right, here's what we're going to do now. I was able to pick up uh, this seat here. Really, really good quality seat, and I got it really cheap, super, super cheap. That's why I picked it up. And it was gray, you know, it was almost like it was uh, meant to be. You know, and I got it because it's got a low back. It's got got a headrest, but I took the headrest off. But it's uh, the back is a little lower, and that's what I like. Here's the other one. You see the the back is a little bit higher. And this one, this seat was okay, but uh, it needed a bath. You know, it was a little grungy. You know, God only knows what was going on this with this before. So uh, I could live with this seat, but uh, since I got the interior is going to be pretty new. 
Actually, it's going to be all new. I figure uh, spend spent a couple bucks and uh, pick this seat up. Like I said, I got it really cheap. I couldn't believe how cheap it is. And it's, and it's a real good uh, Naga hide. It's a, it's a nice solid seat. But I have to make uh, mounts for it now. So I'll show you what we're going to do. As a matter of fact, I'll show you what it looks like in the car. It's just sitting there now. You see, I got, that one's still got the headrest on it. And uh, I got to tilt it up a little bit. But I, I still want to raise it up. You know, like uh, you you want to be uh, you want to be sitting about the eight to ten inches off the ground, so that's got to come up a little bit. But I was just uh, test fitting it. All right, let me show you what we got to do. Right, here's the bottom of the seat. It's got the uh, I don't know how many. Let's see, four, eight, six. Man, it's got a got dozens of holes to mount it to. So I, I could have almost mounted it anywhere. So I was going to use uh, this end end hole here. And this end hole here. And what I was going to do is I had this uh, one by one uh, box steel, and I was going to uh, make a make a, a box around it, you know, and then mount the legs to it. I'd already cut two pieces, you know, I uh, I fortified the ends and everything, you know, make a nice make a nice little box. But and I started thinking, you know, I mean, it's it's going to be it's going to work and it's going to look all right, but you know, no one's going to see it. And I'm going to have uh, eight corners to have to weld fully and everything. So I decided I'm just going to go and have some more of this angle. I'm just going to cut a piece of angle iron and mount it to the bottom and support it from one end to the other. And then mount the, mount the other legs to that. Like I say, it's, it's going to be under the seat and you're not going to see it. And it'll be just as strong. And it'll be... Uh, be a whole lot less welding. All right, so let me cut these to size and try them out. All right, I made the bracket. I'm happy with the way it came out. I'm glad I decided to do it this way instead of the other way. A lot less work and uh, it'll uh, serve the same function. So I, I already mounted on the other one here, and I positioned the seat the way I think I'm going to like it. Your legs, you got about 10 inches from the top of the seat to the floor and the bottom your ass is about five inches off the ground so and and that way you can uh, you can move the seat up not move it up but I mean the, the back it reclines and it'll come up and you'll have a little room to do that so I wanted to leave a little leg room because uh, road queens about 510 and when I sit in that I only got uh, maybe about three or four inches to the ceiling there so I want to make sure she has plenty of room I can I can still move it back or move it up a little bit so we'll see so I could actually just have to put a plate on the back because that's actually the mount is actually touching I don't know if you can see it and then uh, the front here I only have to put some feet there so we'll see I think what I'm going to wind up doing with the heater there is uh, mounting it on a bulkhead back there you just see there's plenty of room behind the seat, but it's, uh, it just gets in the way where they mounted it there, so we'll have to work on that too. There we go. Almost forgot to show you the paint job. Well, our little uh, shaft there came out pretty good. Alrighty, put it over here, that way you can see it. Hmm. Yeah, it came out pretty good, got a nice shine to it. Alright, enough of this.